buffalo, water buffalo. And how much are they? Um, five or each. How much is your episode one figure? That's a tenner. Tenner. That's four quid. And how much is that? How much is this, please? Uh, 50p. Okay. Right, mate. How are you doing? All right. There you go. Thank you. Uh, it's a pound of balls. Or if you want the whole pack, it's eight pounds. Okay. Yeah, been open. How much was these, please? The Beyblade spinners. Yeah. So we've got two arenas plus the uh, yep. promotional walkers ones. Yep. I was thinking of five for both. Okay. Cheers. Have you got books, please? Okay, cheers. How much is your games, please? Um, the Xbox One ones, well, they're all one pound each, actually. Okay. All right, cheers. There you go, thanks. How much would you have for your Xbox? 15, with yeah. everything. Okay, thanks. Three pounds for the uh, candlestick. Yeah, I'd never get it. Mm -hmm. There'd be another unwanted part of that. Two DVDs? Oh, yeah. Well, 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 two um, each now. Two each. Two each. Yeah. Have you got the bag sorry? Yeah. Have you got the right one Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> I just needed some way instead of him just being in the tub. I don't think so, mate. I think so I should take these two. Cheers, thanks. Cheers, so anyway. Did you do these two for three quid? Cheers. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> Do you sell this one on its own? Uh, no. No. How much was it for everything? 30. All right, cheers. Was you a wee spots disc? Yeah, uh, three quid on that. Let's have a look at the condition, is that alright? Yeah, of course. Cheers. Yeah, I'll take this one, cheers. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank I doubt it. No. I doubt it very much. How okay. is not my genre? <laughs> Thank you. I'll take these ones as well, please. Yeah. So four pounds yeah. a year. No cool. There you go, thanks. How's it going alright? Yeah, good. Yeah, good thanks. How much was this place? It's the set, that's the fishtail as well. It's the what, sorry? You know, the fishtail blankets. Okay. Yeah. And I wanted like three pounds for the pair. Right, okay. Does it what does that originally come with it, does it? Or? No, but oh, I put okay. them together. But if you just want the jewelry box two pound, it works. Oh I love it. Up and open it up. Is she causing you trouble lot? <laughs> <laughs> you mind you do bad at the back. Oh okay, cool. Let's have a little look. Oh, Other way. Other way. Fifty pence. Oh okay. Oh, it's nice to be honest. Oh, Smitty, isn't it? <laughs> Sushi, sushi. Oh, there you go, there's a pound. Thank you. 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 Thank
Thank you, my love. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take it, please. Um, do you have any bags at all? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot a bag with me today. Let's get you the two pound for this. Uh, I'll just have whichever, whatever you've got, please. Thank you. I'm that eager in the morning, I forget my bags half the time. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but that one's, I, I like to chuck them on my shoulder. Yeah, thanks very much for that. Right. Appreciate it. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's look at that, it looked all right. But, fiver. Go for that on eBay. I don't blame you. Too much. Mm -hmm. How much was that TV? Um, ten pound. Ten us. Yeah, it's got a, ra a radio as well. Okay, it's cool. Goes to a on it. Yeah, I'll have a think on it, mate. Thank you. How much is he in Sonic, mate? Fiber. So I've had a quick look? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, I'll take that chance, mate. Cool. Just got talking. <laughs> got the right money, I don't yeah. I can give it in change if you want, give it a change. Three, four. Want to change, don't yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers. How much are your games, please? What have you got on your game, Doug? 50p. 50p. Yeah, I'll take that one, Thank you. Yeah, I just took the one. Thank you. Cheers.
Is that one 50p as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, I'll have that one as well, thank you. <laughs> There you thank go, you thanks. Up. Thank you. How much was that, please? Uh, 50p. 50p. <laughs> Bit of a bargain. Yeah, I've been looking at it. I've, I've only been um, thinking about because of the space. You yes. know, because I've... Thank well, you. Yeah, uh, well, that... My brother's just moving out of a very, very small place and he yeah. had lots of little things. I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah, didn't want to be that colour anymore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can I borrow your eyesight? What is that? Oh, is that? Is that cream? Advanced resurfing peel, it says. Mm -hmm. I can't see. see so I, I don't know if it's something is... you put on, then you leave it to oh, set and then peel it off, I think. Mask. That's what I yeah. assume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The uh, light works on it. Just because I'll plug it in and show you, I'll do that. <laughs> so I was as far say, as I'm aware, yeah. we had it on last night. Yeah. So. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, 50 was that? Yes, darling. Yeah. Thank you. There you go, thanks. Wonderful. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, I've only been, like you say, um, stuff to think about stuff because uh, yes. I can't step foot in my room at the minute. Oh, bless right. you. Well, yeah, I just love Japanese stuff, yeah. So does Cheers. He. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Just to have a look at your Toy Story book. So I've got the uh, yeah, I've got the first one. How much was you after for it? Um, well, it's, you know that one. I mean, I would like two pounds for it because it's a ladybird as well. Yeah. But, I don't know, one fifty. Yeah, I'll, I'll have that for one fifty. Is that all right? Yeah. Cool. Let's get you the change. Are you not bothered about Beyblades? Um, no, I was having to think about them. Um, um, I'm sure I used to have them when I was younger, actually. Yeah. yeah. yeah cool <laughs> well, yeah, I keep walking around because I have to do like loads of laps, you know, it makes you miss things, don't you? But yeah, yeah I'll have a think because I'm going around. Like I so said, I've done five laps already. Yeah. And, yeah, I just keep picking up more as I keep going around. Yeah. You don't see things at first, do you? That's but yeah, I'll have a think. Thank you. Come on, Dave, get your wallet out. What's what? Hey, up you. Oh, I can't swear. Uh, this is Dave Flello reporting. <laughs> oh, it's just a GoPro that I wear. We're on the camera. What, give it a wave? No, it's, it's only when I, uh, yeah, it's just gosh. when I pick things up. Yeah. And bought oh, anything. You pick things up, we'll pick that up. No, I'm joking. I've got, I've made a trip back to the car. Hey. I've got some stuff. I wish I was a penny behind you. <laughs> Good luck, Dave. Well, anyway. oh, that's all right then. Yeah. It's all. Oh, wow. Measures. 
That's cool. Commonly misspelt words. Uh, That's cool, actually. Oceans. Biggest yeah. ocean. Well, my nephew's got one. I've been trying to buy it off him. Has he? Well, yeah. you can learn a few things yeah. while you're having a brew, yeah. then, can't you? Very funny. Yeah. You'd be full of knowledge. I expect a new I fact like every it. time I see you, then. Like How much is it? 50p, but I'll give a quid. Oh, that's all right, then. I'm not tight. You're splashed out, Dave. You take care. <laughs> from the booter guys and just a really quick overview of the bits that I got let's check if the Japanese screen works I thought this was awesome for 50p and as I said in, said in the footage it's so Shenmue <laughs> I just love it and drum roll drum roll please drum roll oh oh uh works he has a little switchy thing there so yeah works awesome 50p get in all right let's chat about the pickups what's going on guys thank you for tuning into the latest car boot video game hunting and pickups video so i hope you've enjoyed the car boot footage that you've just watched so i'm here to show you everything we picked up from that car boot and some awesome extras a local pickup actually a charity shop find as well and a couple of uh, brand new games that i've bought myself and a couple of awesome saturn titles bought off a fellow youtuber and awesome friend so i can't wait to show you guys so to kick things off before i forget to show you this um i actually bought a insanity workout dvd set 10 dvd set comes with like a nutrition book things like that all the extras all the poster and stuff um yeah i've actually just packaged that up because i've sold it on ebay um, so yeah, unfortunately, I do apologise, I can't show you guys right now, but it all came in the original cardboard box and everything. The guy wanted a fiver for it, so I thought that was decent. Um, I was a little bit kind of concerned at first because I was thinking, hmm, because they, they did fetch like some decent money. I remember I got like 100 quid for a set on eBay, but I'm talking like a few years ago. And uh, I think it did go through a bit of a dip where it wasn't selling for as much, but um, I actually sold this one for 29 95 so it was only on for like a day. Um, this is the Monday, and that was from the Saturday car boot. So um, I sold it, um, I think it was literally late last night. So it was literally only on eBay for like a day. So uh, yeah, I thought that was probably a, a pretty fair price based on some sold listings. There was some just under, just over that. So try to price it a bit fairly. So 29 95 off a of fiver, so I was buzzing with that. Uh, just a few more to tell you about what I've been selling on eBay. Um, I've had this for ages. I actually got this from, um, I did get this from another car boot as well. Got it for like two quid. It's a Call of Duty Mob of the Dead, uh, the Zombies edition of Mega Bloks. Um, I actually sold this for 25 quid plus £4.10 postage. I thought I'd charge postage on this one because I didn't know if it was going to be like a medium parcel, but I actually got away um, with this as a small parcel. Um, so I did put this up for 29 95 or best offer. Someone offered 25 so I thought that was fair to be honest. So off a couple of quid. Um, like you say, I've cleared £29.10 off that. Um, there's a few figures missing off it, as I stated, the original three figures. However, it did come with another Mega Bloks uh, little zombie figure set with six zombies in. So I did state all that in the listing. It's missing a tiny bit of netting as well um, off one of like the um, kind of the railings and stuff. And like I said, I showed it in pitch and whatever. Uh, a person messaged and they didn't mind and stuff. So yeah, they was uh, happy with that. Um, I've had these for a while as well. Again, another car boot find from probably a year or so ago. Um, Minecraft. I don't know if they are part of like a, a Pop Funko vinyl series. I'm sure I've seen it labelled like that on eBay, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's basically, I'm sure the six inch figures as well. Um, it is Steve and a Creeper. And there's a couple of building blocks as well and Steve's axe. Um, I've had them on eBay for quite a while for like 20 quid or nearest offer. Um, someone offered like 12 quid I counted with like 16.95 and they counted with 15 I thought I'll let them have it for 15 I don't mind too much so I originally only got them for like a couple of quid so uh, I thought I'll you know I'll clear them so like you say they're gone now um, this is a, a really cool obscure item I picked this up ages ago it was back when uh, Saints Row 3 came out um, yeah I think it was when I was um, 
working at gaming, I kind of got it as a bit of a freebie because we got the odd freebies and promo items and stuff. But like I say, it just didn't kind of fit in my collection and I saw there was a bit of money to be made from it. So like I say, I've had this sitting here for years. I can't remember when the expiry date was. I don't know if it was like 2010 or something. So it's absolutely not drinkable. But it's called Saints Flow and it's uh, it was meant to taste like an energy drink. But I just didn't end up drinking it. Like I, I just kind of wanted to keep it and preserve it as a collectible. And in this case, it's actually paid off. So uh, yeah, it's, it's meant to taste like... Uh, an energy drink i don't know if it's kind of meant to be like red bull or a cheap version or whatever because obviously i've never tasted it and um, so yeah i actually saw that for 19 pound 95 plus four pound 10 postage i thought i'll charge postage on this one i just kind of followed suit for um the other listings that had sold so i thought i'll just kind of follow that i did have it as best offer but someone snapped it up it's been on for a little while um but yeah like i say in total 24 pound and five pence and then the last one is a Stranger Things 11 with electrodes pop. Um, it was the last one, I think, uh, of my uh, collection. Like I say, I sold it all along because I just couldn't keep up with it. Like I say, um, I'm prioritising, you know, things and slimming down the collection a bit. So I believe this was a New York Comic Con exclusive, I think. That's what I've seen it on other listings. And I uh, sold that for £16.95. So I thought that, that wasn't too bad. So yeah, they're all the... Um, items that i've basically sold on ebay and like i said i just wanted to obviously reel them off because obviously insanity was one of them that i picked up from the saturday booter now i know usually i i, I scrunch these up and throw them but this is actually part of royal mail tracking because i <laughs> what what do you expect with me I, I like i don't know i'm not made of paper you know i've had to use a bit of tracking to um jot it down because i use my phone to uh, record you see so yeah um uh, if you're kind of wondering um, why I'm selling so much on eBay, Holster, why, why are you going on about eBay so much? Um, like I say, if, if it's not your thing, feel free to, you know, just scroll past the, in the video to the gaming pickups and miscellaneous pickups and things. Um, but yeah, I'm basically um, saving for a house deposit. I've, I would like my own place in future. And I've genuinely become quite addicted to selling on eBay because I've, um, you know, been slimming down my collection. I've been like dipping into other like kind of markets and stuff like just picking up miscellaneous things on the car boot. I'm actually really enjoying it. But don't worry, I'm not staring away from video games at all. Um, but it's just I have to do that sometimes to just kind of move on for profit and things. So, uh, yeah. But there is uh, quite a few games to show in this one. Um, unfortunately, early on in this Saturday booter, um, it was a decent turnout. It was the final Saturday booter of this season. So, really sad. Um, but it was a decent one, though. Um, early on, I did miss a few PS4 games and I think maybe a couple of DS games. But it is really hard. I started from one end of it. It's, it's one of them where everyone goes in at 7am for the buyers. Um, it's, it's just difficult. You, you can't be in every row at the same time. By the time I got there, someone had some games in their hands. So, unfortunately, I missed out on some of this. So I was quite gutted towards the beginning of the boot where I was like, oh, man, is all like the good stuff gone. But still picked up some nice bits. Like you say, Insanity, Workout DVD. So that was one of them. Nice profit made there. £5 paid then 29.95 uh, sold on ebay so um what did i find next um i think this is one of my early uh, pickups in the footage I, I try kind of do it in chronological order but can't fully remember um i've been going on about this to my other half chloe i was like oh did you ever read goosebumps and she liked them as well and i was like i really want to read them again you know and uh yeah i, th I thought this was the first one then i checked uh, a bit later on i forgot they're on the spine and uh, this was the first goosebumps book welcome to dead house so yeah, I'm buzzing to have that. It's only 50p. So I just wanted to um, reread it basically. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a bit dangerous because I'm dipping into another collection now, aren't I? But um, yeah, I don't know. I might just read it and sell it on anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's just a bit of nostalgia and just wanting to read the old Goosebumps books again. Like who who read them as in the childhood? So good, man. It was literally my childhood when it came to reading. Um Another um, nostalgic item uh, is the Toy Story 2 Ladybird book. I've got the first one. I've got it like up on my shelf somewhere. I've kind of preserved it like in some secure place display. That. I don't know where it is. But because I saw this, I was like, you know, I would really like it. Um, God, I remember when Toy Story 2 came out. Um, I got it on like bootleg VHS. <laughs> it was hilarious. And uh yeah, it wasn't a bad copy for the time it was made anyway. But yeah, it's all like really lovely condition. There's no scribblings and whatever. Like, you know, this belongs to, you know, Jeffrey, age eight or whatever. It's like, oh, I hate that. And I, I looked at like the Goosebumps book as well because I had a really quick scan through. Because obviously it's right at the beginning of the boot where I had to hurry up. 
uh, but no thankfully no graffiti in these it just annoys me it just annoys me guys does it annoy you in books honestly uh but yeah like i said i've got the first one so i wanted this one i think she did want two quid for it but i was a little bit grumbly about it do i just wait so i can get it for 50p or a quid or whatever like i know it's me being a bit of a cheat here but you can see these quite often ish depending but she said she'll do 150 so i thought i'll grab it and then it'll go with the first one um i've seen the third toy story film i saw it once when it first came out i didn't think much to it it was okay still been meaning to watch toy story 4 it's on the sky movies all ready for me to watch i just haven't had a chance yet so i'm meaning to get around to watching that um can't remember when i picked this up but this is uh really nice it's um a disney princess ariel the little mermaid music box so it's all nice condition you wind it up here and then she'll go around like that you watch i won't be able to shut this up now I mean, it's all really nice anyway um apparently it plays shut up <laughs> apparently it plays under the sea i think that's the tune it plays but i'm actually not sure um i don't think i've actually seen the little mermaid before yeah i know guys <laughs> but the thing is i've mentioned this before with a lot of disney movies i actually missed out on loads of them i watched things like beauty and the beast arista cats etc etc but it's like when i was like eight nine years old i i found my uncle's vhs collection it was in in this old cupboard he used to let me watch it as well so i was watching things like salem's lot pet cemetery stepfather series i was watching things like, like the goriest horrors halloween stuff like that i absolutely loved it so that's why i neglected disney movies honestly a true story guys <laughs> um absolute classic i love being able to watch what i wanted it, it, it doesn't damage kids uh, in my opinion anyway it is fine like you know what i mean my kids will be able to watch what they want to be honest i'll sit with them and and all that you, you know I've, I've grown up you know what i mean even playing gta and whatever since i was eight nine years old and all that and i'm a, I'm a massive softy it's fine <laughs> that's me and my laid-back attitude parenting lessons from me a non-parent anyway uh but yeah anyway moving on i digress um <laughs> Uh, there was a stall it was um it had some games on it, it was uh, quite priced up really um, i ended up paying three quid for this not this bag it originally came in this bag you've seen on the footage um so it's just a disc only of wii sports but i actually had i just don't have any inlays for it though uh, i've got like the little manuals for it precaution manuals and uh yeah i've just popped it in that and i popped it on ebay try my luck and see if i can uh, make a bit of profit on it there i didn't quite mind paying three quid for it because like i say if i could just recase it i've sold them for like 14 pound 95 on ebay so i actually don't mind paying a few quid for them um yeah i'm sure at the minute cex give a measly four pound trade i think it has gone right down so um i'd hang on to them guys and don't like kind of give in you know uh yeah speaking of um cex trade like depreciating in value um these have gone down to just two quid each trade so i got a bunch of 360 games if you'll as you'll have seen um so these ones are for trades a couple for keeps here so i was happy about them but yeah i had a quick check on my phone because i picked up a couple at first then i went back to the store picked up a few more and um, but I, th I thought i saw it was like four quid or something like that i thought they'd gone back up but they actually hadn't i think i'd misread it as i was going on my phone too quick this is the problem um you might have noticed i've been making the odd little mistakes um, and it's literally just because time is of the essence like you're just having to really rush i had to rush before like you say when the sellers first came in you know from like 5 a.m at the booters and me and the other hardcore booters were there um but i don't know with this you, you're rushing so much more because literally while i'm looking at things i'm missing out on many other stalls and aisles it's just crazy but i'm literally i'm not complaining i'm still doing so well uh, considering uh, you guys have um like commented on my videos you know saying you've done really well you know you're doing awesome so you know i appreciate um that guys i'm glad you you're enjoying the pickups but yeah i i generally do really well considering the other competition traders etc etc so yeah kind of a bit of a mistake made on these but a couple of quid each to be made they're all there discs are all really nice i checked through all the discs with these um, but they was all in really nice condition gta 5 you can't go wrong um originally you might have seen in the footage um you might have thought no there's two discs in there what are you picking it up for but 
I actually had this lying around. Um, it, it only came with the install disc, but I didn't mind. I, I could have possibly bought it down to 50p and just said, look, only one of the discs is here. But I just kind of just wanted to get going. I thought I'll just pay a quid for it because there's still a bit of money to be made. Um, so, yeah, there's my play disc that I've added to it. So it's always worth it, guys, even if you only find that on its own or the other one on its own. Usually you always pick these up with only that disc. It's usually always that play disc, this one that's missing i'm turning it upside down because that's the way the disc is it's usually always that one that's missing but if you see any of them you know what i mean even if you just see them with the one disc try if you have time get them down to 50p or something because just say it's like only half a game there <laughs> um you know so yeah it's always worth having them spare discs so yeah i believe that still gets about four quid trade at cex so i might move it on for that mine ebay i'm not too sure yet like i say i'm really swaying more towards ebay um not been trading in at cex as much um like i say with, with me saving so i was happy with these two i don't believe i've got either of these in the collection especially this one i was a bit um in an hour about this I, I couldn't remember but i don't believe i have either so the first one is sniper ghost warrior i've had this recommended by a few people a few of my mates and i think it looks badass so for a quid i was not complaining at that um i believe i'm sure cex sell it for like 250 or something like that so like you say when you see them for a quid it's just a, a bit of a no-brainer when it looks that good it looks awesome so i'm looking forward to trying that out sometime i need to um need to find out if a, a few of these are backwards compatible on the xbox one so obviously that's my main console i game on um i was happy with this as well need for speed undercover i remember um i've worked at game for a number of years in the past um i was actually it was never on a permanent contract. It was always um, Christmas temp. I was always Christmas temp at game uh, for a few years alongside my factory job. And uh, absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. I loved it. I worked uh, the Xbox One launch as well. That was absolutely wicked memory. We got like uh, the boss paid for us. A bit, bit of a nostalgic memory, you guys. Reminiscing. Let's reminisce together. So the boss paid for us like massive pizza hut. We was just chilling out, having loads of pizza, um, you know, from like 9pm onwards. And then... Um, yeah, then we started preparing for the midnight launch, you know, people start queuing and yeah, it was just awesome. It was so good. And then I think we finished at about, it was like half two or something after we finished serving everyone. Then I got to bring my baby home. It was like when you leave the maternity place in the hospital with your new bundle of joy. That was me strolling with my new Xbox One. And I literally bought like seven games for it as well. Not kidding. Got like Dead Rising 3, Battlefield 4. I got Rise, Son of Rome. I think that one's really forgotten about, you know, as well. I put a picture up of it. Just shout that out. Because I think that's a really little gem. Forgotten about, that is. Because uh, the campaign's wicked. But anyway, like I say, I digress. Um, I'm not going to be spending quite as much on the uh, Xbox Series X launch. Um, I am planning on getting it on launch. Uh, probably only get one or two games for it. What those games are, I'm not sure yet, but obviously keep you guys updated. So yeah, this is another one. I just remember serving people uh, when I was working at Game for this. That's why I obviously, sorry, that's why I went on to talking about Game. Because I just remember when it first came out, you know, it was like 30, 40 quid and whatever. So um, like you say, it's, it's where like, obviously the cops are after you and stuff. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Not played that one. Uh, these were nice to see. Uh, I believe there is three in the sets after a bit of um, investigation on eBay. So I've got the first and the second, Dragon's Lair. So that one's Dragon's Lair 1 and then Dragon's Lair 2, Time Warp. So these are both interactive DVDs. Um, what kind of region they are, I'm not sure. Uh, it said printed in Canada, made in Taiwan. But... Yeah, I've seen some, um, the American versions seem a bit more common on eBay, you know, with the E rating. This one's KA, Kids to Adults. Uh, but yeah, they're both really nice and complete with the Manuels. I've had a flick through them and, you know, read on the back. So they're interactive movie games. All nice and complete. You control it with your TV remote. That's what it says on here anyway. So yeah, I've got these on eBay. Um, selling them together and i'll just see how i get on with them really because uh, they seem to fetch a little bit of money she wanted two quid each i said will you do both for three and she said yeah so nice little haggle there so yeah i just thought it was um really unusual i might um maybe try get a chance to play them before i sell them on <laughs> but they're already listed on ebay at the moment anyway um a couple of other things um yeah I, I saw some wii games whether there was some better titles there that i missed out on i don't know but there was quite kind of hidden a little bit there was in a box on the floor 
and these ones were like i don't know that they weren't like um displayed like that so you could fully see the spines that the wee ones were like displayed sideways so i could only just make them out when i went past so um at first i didn't think this would really um fetch anything at cex uh, but i thought i'll just double check it because i'm sure the 360 and ps3 versions do or at least they did anyway uh the wee ones don't usually tend to but um yeah this this fetches i think it's three quid or four quid uh with the 3d glasses and obviously they will be included because it's sealed however it's not an official seal there's no nintendo on it or anything but um yeah like i say if cx have to open it up and you know check the glasses are in there then whatever because it's, it's only cost me 50p they just wanted 50p again guys so it's not too bad so far i'll pick up toy story mania pick that one up and then I went back and looked at this one. I just thought it was quite obscure because I'd not seen it before. Um, don't think it's rare by any means, but it just seems quite unusual and a bit obscure. So uh, this is Deadly Creatures. You can either play as a tarantula or a scorpion and hunt down prey, i.e. things like venomous snakes and stuff. And, you know, it's kind of that was, that sold me as well. Um, it got Best of E3 runner-up 2008. Yeah, best of E3 awards. So, yeah, I thought it was really cool. Um, I think it's quite up my uncle's street as well, Chaz. Um, for when we have a game night, because he loves the Wii as well. So I said, uh, you know, we'll have to play this. So, yeah, I, I think CX sells about 150 or 2 quid or something like that. So, for 50p, couldn't go wrong. And like I say, I just thought it looked like a cool title. I've not seen it before. So I think that takes us on to... Yeah, I, I love this, guys. It's very Shenmue. Just reminded me of Shenmue, because it's, uh, you know, it's one of them Japanese screens. I don't know what what the actual title is of them. I'm not sure if any of you guys can correct me in the comments. Um, I can't even remember what them Japanese kind of flowers are either, them little pink ones. Um, oh, I'm, I'm useless, but um, I like them anyway. Um, so, yeah, I just thought it was very Shenmue. And I'll show you a picture on screen. It actually works as well. I didn't realise at first that it had a, a light bulb in it. It needs a little bit of a dust. Uh, I asked her if it works, but whether it worked or not, um, I, I wanted it for display anyway. She said, oh yeah, as far as I know it works, my son had it on last night. I was like, oh, fair enough, cool. So how much do you want for it? She said, 50p. Absolute no-brainer. Um, at first, I was a little bit mm, holster. Should you really? Because you're literally struggling for space. But I think it'll fit really nicely in my Japanese section of the game collection. That rhymed nice. Um because I've obviously got some uh, PC Engine games, some Neo Geo Pocket games. So I think this will be really nice in my Japanese section. So for 50p, can't go wrong on a very Shenmue item. <laughs> That's what you just totally reminded me of. Um, so yeah, local pickup. Um, I thought I'd just, just grab this. It was a fiver, Lego Avengers. It fetches 13 quid at CEX, so I thought I'll grab that. It wasn't too far away from me. It's just... I hardly ever get local pickups now. Um, like you say, you've got to be so on it. Uh, they'll literally go within minutes, <laughs> the nice deals. Um, and then this is a really nice charity shop pickup as well. Um, in one of my locals, uh, lots of PS1 and Mega Drive in a cabinet. And uh, at first, like, my eyes lit up. And then I was like, oh, when I realised it was individually priced. Um, yeah, there was, like, very steep. Cue the bottom clip. That's a bit steep, isn't it? Steep? It's effing vertical! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just it's a proper shame, it really is. I wish I was on one ninety nine 99 each, so I'd just grab them, whatever. But yeah, it all depends on the charity shop, obviously. Some of them you can get them next to nothing. Sometimes, like you say, they, they do their eBay research, etc, etc. However, this one was a bargain. It is Rock and Roll Racing 2 for the PS1. I don't know if it's meant to be as good as the first one. I've got the first one on the SNES. I absolutely love it. I need to show you. I love it for the uh, Black Sabbath Paranoid on the game soundtrack. I love the first one. Yeah, I don't know much about this one, but... Yeah, I've got to be really careful with this because, yeah, <laughs> the the hinge was all snapped and everything, so it needs a nice recase. It's got a um, chunky but funky manuel. It's all really nice and complete. 
and then the disc is pretty nice only some minor surface scratches and all that so yeah i actually got this for a fiver and i thought that wasn't too bad and um, i just went like and bought it straight out because i thought yeah i'm sure that's a bargain because i've searched for this before when i um you know enjoyed the first one then i found out there was a second one on ps1 i was like oh wow didn't know that and i previously searched it on ebay this was probably a year or two ago anyway and yeah i saw it was going for around 20 quid and it seems to go for anywhere around 15 to 25 or even up to i'm sure i've seen one for like 27.99 in the sold listings on ebay so for a fiver could not go wrong um i did have a look there was lots there there was crash bandicoot one and two there was um abe's odyssey there was uh i was really tempted for revenge of shinobi as well on the mega drives so I, I really wanted that for ages but it was 12 quid it goes for like 10 15 on ebay i think and i'm sure at cx i think it's about the 15 mark for a boxed one so yeah i just can't really justify just paying 12 quid outright for it and i'm sure it's on the sega mega drive mini so i shouldn't rush out and buy it to be honest like i say it's not a rare title just would have been nice if i picked it up for a few quid but like I say all the crash bandicoots there was like a tenner so was odd world it's all right if you wanted to keep them but obviously i've already got all them titles so yeah it was a shame about them um whenever i'm next in uh that charity shop i'll have to see if i can get some footage and show you guys but um yeah it's still a nice find though this was so um yeah brand new game pickup it had been rude not to it's tony hawk's pro skater one and two remastered um it's not in here because it's in my xbox i've been playing it um, I've not completed it yet. I'm probably halfway through both. I'm not the absolute best on it, but I'm I'm regaining my childhood skills on it. Um, I genuinely would recommend this to anyone. Um, I really would. I got this from Smith's because I uh, pre-ordered it. It was like thirty nine ninety nine, but if you collect in store once you've pre-ordered, you get five off, so it's thirty four ninety nine. So I thought that's the cheapest I'm going to get it. I'm just going to grab it because I literally wanted to play this on release day. So yeah, I was working that day six six as well day shift so i went and picked up after work took a like a couple of hours or something to install the damn thing i thought how could it take so long there was already like an online update um <laughs> modern gaming fear but yeah um generally they've done a cracking job with this i don't know if any of you can remember um i, I originally bought it on the 360 as well the um tony hawk's pro skater remastered where they like remastered the first one um but it was like it was awful they, i think they did a, a pretty naff job of it to be honest uh really didn't enjoy it or play it that much you can no longer get it um it got removed from the store so uh, i'm lucky to that uh, you know that i bought it and have it on my xbox um even though it's pretty bad but yeah this this is nothing like it i'll tell you now um i think they've generally done an awesome job so would recommend it to anyone who's played the originals um this one was a cex forgot about this one uh, but yeah i accumulated a bit of credit from the last booter video um from a few things that i picked up and i decided to get man eater because i really wanted it <laughs> it's down to like 28 quid so i don't want too bad and i was buzzing because it still had the uh, dlc and didn't expect it to work but the code still worked so i was buzzing with that so i've got the tiger shark adaptation so that's what it looks like so uh, yeah i probably played about an hour or two of this and it's really fun really awesome shark action rpg and uh, the controls are really simple really you, you literally mainly use the triggers to uh bite other sharks and living beings in the oceans you can upgrade your shark as well um not only its appearance but just the way it handles and everything its skills um like i say i've, I've only briefly played it but from what i've played i, I really enjoy it so if you, if you fancy a shark game that's you know you're not going to take seriously sort of thing it's just nice to kind of mess around on and stuff and uh yeah it's great and uh it's, it's awesome like just just springing out of the ocean and just ripping into some humans like on on the boats and everything it's great so yeah i would recommend that guys it's a fun one um oh so last couple guys awesome additions to my sega saturn collection i'm saving up funds she says <laughs> but i just can't resist these are from a really good friend of mine and awesome fellow youtuber scott brand who is known on the tubes as the mighty sega zombie so definitely check out his channel if you haven't he's absolutely wicked um so yeah he's actually been moving on some of his pal saturn set 
Um, I totally would have bought more games if I could, but as you guys know, you know, I'm really out on a budget. I had to limit my spending, but I've got a couple of titles which I'd really wanted for ages, and they're quite big hitters to me anyway, one of them especially. So this first one is Enemy Zero. So in the condition it's in, you know, got it for a fabulous price as well, so thanks so much, Scott. Um, it, it's really hard to find um, in this condition, and even... Um, in the sleeve as well because sometimes in cex when they say they've got it in stock i've been in store and it's just been the two um case cases like just sellotape together or you know with a elastic band or whatever this it's still got like the sega seagull on as well if you guys can see i'll put it right up close so yeah it is a four disc of this guys i'll open it really carefully so there's one big thick manuel <laughs> and then two discs in there and I believe these are the characters. I actually don't know much about this game at all, but um, I've just literally watched them on uh, YouTube. I just really love the look of it, and I've wanted it for ages, and like you say, I had to snap it up while it's in this nice condition. A bit confusing, actually, because it's actually disc two and three in here. And then, yeah, the first disc is actually called disc zero. So in case you guys see it and, you know, wonder about the numbers, disc zero and disc one are in there, so... As I say, I can't really say much about it, but it looks like a nice, uh, I think it's like a horror game as well. Yeah, it does look really decent. Waking up from her cryogenic sleep, Laura soon discovers something sinister on board the starship. Yeah, it says there's real-time action and puzzle solving. Yes, yeah, so it looks like probably like a sci-fi kind of survival horror possibly. So yeah, I'm looking forward to diving into that, guys. So the last one guys, some of you might think it's really daft because this one's a lot cheaper on the PS1 but as you guys probably know I'm aiming for a full PAL Sega Saturn set so this is a big hit of ticked off the list and I've wanted this for absolutely ages. So this is the mighty Swagman. So I really like the look of this. So it reads, Nighttime is a deadly place to play in now that the evil Swagman lurks in its shadows. So there's a couple of kids called Zack and Hannah and uh they must rescue the Dreamfly and her 11 strong Dreamfly from the grip of the Swagman and his night terrors. So yeah, I think you have to kind of go into, um, yeah, it says you have to cross, it says you have to cross over into Swagman's dream world. So yeah, I think it looks well decent, right up my street. It is all awesome and complete with Manuel. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just so happy to take that one off.
it's mad how um like you say they're worth a lot more on saturn uh some of the big hitters so uh yeah i'm really happy to tick this one off and i absolutely love the artwork as well so massive shout out to my mate scott brand sega zombie for hooking me up with these two awesome titles they're my absolute highlights so incredibly happy to pick these up awesome additions to the sega saturn pal collection so that's it for this week's car boot video game hunting and pickups video i really hope you guys have enjoyed the car boot footage and all the pickups just want to say a massive thank you for all of my long-term subscribers and lots of new subscribers as well i've seen some new faces and new people commenting so thank you so much i appreciate every single one of you guys for watching and supporting my channel and i love doing videos for you all so i hope you guys are doing well with your video game hunting you can totally feel free to drop some comments in the section down below let me know how you're getting on so until the next one. Happy car booting and video game hunting. Take care guys, I'll see you in a bit.